What's up, warrior? Welcome to day three of the MYT, Men's Yoga Tribe, Men's Yoga Transformation, Stretchy Yoga Challenge. We're gonna work on your flexibility and your flex ability through implementing yoga shapes uh, for longer periods of time. When we hold these shapes for long periods of time, up to three to five minutes, we change the length of our tissues over the long run. And we're really addressing areas that we hold a lot of tightness, stiffness, rigidity, and discomfort in our bodies this week. And think about it, if you are carrying that tightness, that stiffness, that rigidity in your body, that's gonna show up in the ways that you navigate your life and the ways that you interact with other people around you. And no one wants to show up being a stiff, rigid, fragile person in the world. And if you can work on that here on the mat, that's going to bleed out into other areas of your life as well. <clears throat> We're going to be working on two most uncomfortable postures today to release some hidden stiffness and rigidity for you. All that you're going to need is some space and either a stick to help with one of the stretches or a towel or a yoga strap or even a belt that you would wear for fashion purposes. And once you got those things, then we are good to go. We're going to start today's practice on hands and knees in what we call a nice little tabletop position. We're not going to worry too much about the setup right now. We can do that at a later time in one of my classes, one of the long form classes, or even in men's yoga transformation. But what we're going to do from here is sweep your right foot forward to the outside of your right hand, <clears throat> taking a, a wide lunge as opposed to a narrow one being on the inside of your right arm. Sometimes I see people, after a while of doing this, still with their hands on the outside, bring your hand to the inside of your right thigh. Point your left toes back. Press into the top of your left foot. You're going to feel your left glute, maybe even your hamstring come online. And while you're working on that, I urge you to also press down into your left pinky toe. You're going to feel a whole different level of activation back there. On this front leg, Unbunch any bunch up, skin behind your knee, reach back there, unbunch it. That's fascia. We want to make sure that that's open. We're also going to press down through the inner edge of your right foot. You'll see people collapsing out to the sides. We're not going to do that here because we want you to actually get benefit out of this. So you're going to press down through the inner edge of your right foot while also pressing out through your right thigh. It's going to open your hip up a little bit more. From your arms, press the floor away with your palms and your shoulders. That's going to lengthen your spine. And just like we've been practicing, breathe long, deep, relaxed. And see if you can breathe into the back of your ribcage. Drawing out your exhales. Noticing anywhere that you have any unintended tension right now. Maybe it's your neck and shoulders. Your jaw or somewhere else. Maybe this stretch feels just right for you, but maybe you want to go deeper. Your option, if you want to do that, is to take one forearm down towards the mat. That might be enough. Maybe you want to take a, a pillow that's rolled up. You want to lean into that. Or even both forearms. Still trying to maintain your lengthened shape through your spine without starting to round into your back. That is a sign that you're, you're greeting over owning the posture and being in it rather than doing it right. Now you might do that elsewhere. We're not going to do that here in MYT, this yoga tribe. Coming back to your breath, noticing what you feel in your body. Where your mind your thoughts and stories are going. Maybe they're telling you all kinds of things like, hey, you could just get out of this and say that you did it. No saying any emotions, sensations in the body that compel you to act. That could be the body telling you, you should come out of this because this is uncomfortable. Or any other feelings. As we start to practice this observing awareness, watching these things, it's important to approach it as we do in yoga with all things from a place of non-judgment. So when you see those things, rather than resisting them, seeing if you can 
just be like, oh, thanks, guys. That's an interesting thought. We're going to stay here. From wherever you are, planting back into your hands. We'll dig your left toes under so you can release the pressure on your left knee. And then sweeping your right knee back to meet the left. And just like we've been practicing, no movement here. Once you get back there, just pause. What do you feel at the after effect of that shape? Maybe it's some blood flow in your left glute, to the front of your right hip, in the back, your right thigh, and your hamstring. Maybe you notice something mentally, your thoughts, your emotions, or something else. <clears throat> And if you feel inspired to take any movement, whatever your body's asking for, take it. I'm going to take a little fire hydrant circle, lift my leg out to the side, spinning it around. I'm just going to take one each direction. And then meeting back in our tabletop. And when you're ready, you can take the same shape on the opposite side, sweeping your left foot forward to the outside of your left hand. Slide your right knee back a little bit if you have that space. If not, then you're all good. Pressing into the top of your right foot just gently, but still hard enough to feel your right glute starting to work. And really pressing down through that right pinky toe. You feel a whole bunch of things happening back there on the right leg. Pressing down through the inside edge of your left leg, even as you resist your left thigh out to the side, opening up your hip. You need to reach back here and unbunch any bunched up skin behind your left knee. Feel free to go ahead and do that. Pressing the floor away from your shoulders and your palms so we find that length through your spine. Breathing long, deep, relaxed. Maybe you can sink deeper into it without slouching in any way. Through this little muscular activation, we create alignment in the body. We can show up aligned in our lives or we can show up saggy. Nobody wants that. See if you can stretch your chest open here. And imagine there's a little rubber band around your elbows squeezing together. Can you gently press out, stretching out into that rubber band? You're going to notice some space opening underneath your underarms and in your back body. If you want to come a little bit deeper, we can start bringing one forearm down to your pillow, block, or floor. Maybe even the opposite forearm. Remember, we want to keep the length through the spine here. We would want to ensure that we're not rounded and tucked over. Remember, it's not about perfection of the posture. It's about practice and progress. It's not about the destination of, I need to get there. It's about the direction, continuing to practice, moving towards that shape one millimeter a day, every day. Come into your breath. Releasing any gripping, any contraction that you're noticing unrelated to this stretch. Your neck, your shoulders, your jaw. When you feel like you're ready, planting into your hands, start to exit this posture. We're digging your right toes under so we can take pressure off the right knee. And then sweeping the left knee back to be the right. Resisting any reactions, anything that your body is trying to do, any wiggles to shake that tension out. Just pause here. Allowing the after effect to happen. Otherwise, we may lose the benefit of the stretch if we rush out of it too quickly, if we try to shake it out. And now, if you feel inspired to take some movement, whatever that is, even if it feels silly, taking that now. Maybe it's a fire hydrant circle. 
Maybe it's something else. I'm just going to take one each direction. When you're ready, I invite you to take a kneeling or seated position or even come up to standing. And you're going to take your stick, your stretching pipe, uh, or your, your towel or strap. I'll show you with the strap today. We're going to get into what in yoga is called cow face position. And <clears throat> in fitness, we want to see that. If you reach your right arm up, you can reach back and touch the top of your opposite shoulder blade, your scapula. And if you reach your left arm back behind you, then you can flex through your elbow and reach up to touch the bottom of your right scapula, the opposite. The cow face stretch is being able to come here and really get fingertip to fingertip. But most people are not able to do that. We're going to work towards that to open up your chest on one side, the side that's down, and your shoulder right underneath your underarm on the opposite side. So let's say that you have a strap or towel. We're going to bring that over the top like you're reaching for the opposite shoulder blade or the middle of your back. And with the left hand, we're gonna reach it back behind you until you're able to find that towel or strap or pole. And from here, I'm just gonna take a, a big in-breath. One second here. From here, we're gonna creep your hands towards each other, trying to press the ceiling away with your right elbow. And making sure that we're not overarching into your back, just like we've been practicing, taking that little moment to <sighs> metal singer, <sighs> cat vomit, <laughs> try and zip your rib cage in, pressing the ceiling away with your right elbow, hugging it towards your head. It's gonna try to escape out to the side. We're not gonna let that happen. And with this left arm, just trying to pull your shoulder back gently. You're not trying to squeeze it back or force it, just gently pulling it back so it's not rounding forward. We're just gonna breathe here. Long, deep, relaxed, releasing any unintentional tension, softening into it. And your jaw, your neck and shoulders, anywhere else, your belly, even your pelvic floor. If your body invites you a little bit deeper, feeling free to creep your hands towards each other on your broomstick or your towel. This one can be quite uncomfortable, so breathe and coming to your breath to help you stay centered in coherence, as we call it scientifically, even amidst the strain and the stress. helping you manage the reactions so that you can be response-able, able to respond rather than reacting. Notice anywhere you're losing your alignment and only when you're ready, gently releasing, releasing with your hands first, bringing your right arm down and then unwinding your left arm. Taking a few moments to just breathe here. Notice the after effect of the posture before you move, before you wiggle. Now let's take the same posture on the opposite side. We'll take your strap, your towel, or your pole. I'm gonna take it in your left hand. We're gonna reach it up over your back like you're reaching for your mid-back. And then we're gonna reach the right arm behind you. We're gonna take hold of that pole, that towel, whatever you are using here. Taking a big inhale, trying to press the sky away with your left elbow. <sighs> Zipping your front ribs in. You can even creep your hands towards each other on the towel, on the pole. Without starting to lose that, without flaring your elbow out, without starting to really round your right shoulder too far forward. Relaxing through your mouth. Using your breath to help keep yourself relaxed. And 
noticing your inner experience. And if you're starting to lose the alignment on the left arm, press the sky away with your left elbow again. Only when you're ready, gently unwinding, you can release your right arm, unwind it, release your left one, Whew. setting your hands down, just resting in the after effect of the stretch. What do you feel? We'll take a little after movement, take it anything that feels right for you. We're gonna take, I'm gonna take pushing away the sky, a little Qigong movement. So I'm gonna bring my hands up over my head, turning my fingertips to face each other. As I inhale, pressing the sky away. As you exhale, bring the backs of your hands towards the top of your head, just bending your elbows a little bit. Inhale into stretch, pressing the sky away. Exhale in the flex, bring your hands down towards your head. One more time. Bring your hands down in a nice comfortable position. Noticing the after effect of this entire practice today. And if any of these felt particularly good for you, my challenge is to work these in throughout your day today. Not just the postures, but also the after effect, the feelings. And if anything felt really beneficial, practicing it, more than that, practice it before you go to bed. Three to five minutes is what will help you change the length of your tissues, your posture, flexibility in the long run. And that's it. So feel free to drop it in the comments. Let me know how this felt for you. If you need help, guidance with anything, or if you're like, that's just not accessible for me, let me know because I want to help you with that. And I'll see you right back here for the next day. Bye.